Hello there, um, everyone. I'm your German snob, and I'm here with another episode of Let's Play uh, Bioshock. We are still in Arcadia, and I don't think that we are going to leave it today. But we are going to enter... Well, what exactly are we going to enter? We are going to enter the Rolling Hills. How you can have Rolling Hills in a place like that? Well, we are going to see, I guess. So let's see about that. There's also the Metro. Which is pretty cool and on the surface I once bought a forest good for you. parasites claimed that the land belonged to God and demanded that I establish a public park there. Why? So the rebel could stand slack jawed under the canopy and pretend that it was paradise earned. And Congress moved to nationalize my forest. I burned it to the ground. God did not plant the seeds of this Arcadia. I did. <laughs> Well, so basically what you're trying to do here is trying to live your dream of having your own forest without having the government interventing into it. Well, I guess there's worse, maybe? Well, you know, all things considered, there is worse. Also, let me beat you with a wrench. Yeah. And while we are at it, let me electroshock this thing. Hey, shoot. Yeah. So I can electroshock you and hack you. Good. Cut. Done. Okay. So now that thing is going to work for us. Because that's just how things are around here. And we can now pick up that first aid kit, which is not half bad actually. Also I hear a big daddy. But I don't think we are well equipped enough to do anything about him. No, indeed I believe we are not. So let's just ignore that guy. He doesn't seem to have a little sister with him anyway. So there... I don't think there is any use for him right now. Also what's on here? Cigarettes, don't need. Lockbox, eh, empty. And a audio diary, shouldn't have come. Well, I mean, I think they are or they were doing pretty well in recreating a like a place people actually want to live in or actually are able to live in under the sea. I mean, come on, that is pretty impressive what they are doing here. I mean, obviously this place looks a whole lot like a greenhouse and therefore not really all that inviting compared to like a real what the hell. Uh, let's let's get out of here. Okay, so we gotta find Langford before we are running out of air. Because that would be rather terrible. Also, talking about terrible things, there is a camera which we are going to hack. Uh, so cut. <laughs> Easy one. Okay, so that would be done. This thing doesn't pose a danger to us anymore. There are bandages which heal us a bit. There is a pistol which doesn't heal us a bit but provides us with some ammunition. And that should be all. I'm not sure... If we are on some sort of time limit here, I uh, don't need ammo. I think we are doing pretty well with the ammo we can find just laying around. So we really don't need to uh, to buy any, which is pretty useful. And now we are entering the laboratories. My trees? It wasn't you, was it? No. No. Ryan. I think I've got a way to save the trees. 
it's a genetic vector that... Oh, who am I talking to? Could you find a sample of Rosa Gallica for me? Look at the grotto. I've got to keep walking one last time. The grotto? Well, we have already been there. So, yeah, I know. Go and complain to Ryan, really. I mean, guys. Really, you guys. Okay, um... But these are not dangerous, thank god. And maybe we should try to invest in some Eve as soon as possible. I mean, right now we can do without Blasmids, but... And you're going to get shot! Ain't that a kick in the head? Uh, but right now we can enter this place. Okay, and there are a whole bunch of scarecrows around here. And where is that dude who kept shooting at us? I don't know. But seeing how there's a lot of water in here, I think it would be a pretty good idea to equip our electroshock plasmid. And what else is there? Are Ah, yeah, I think that's something we can do. I never showed it off, but we can use our pyrokinesis power on those bottles of liquor and then use our telekinesis to... No, not like that. Wait, let me do that. I mean, like, actually do that if we could aim, yeah. And then throw it uh, uh, like a Molotov cocktail. I don't think we will be doing that very often, but it's pretty cool, isn't it? So what's in there? Nothing. Chlorophyll solution. Well, better pick it up now in case we need it later on. Is that all? Certainly looks like it. Yeah, thing is... I'm, in fact, pretty sure that we are going to need it later on. Enemy triggered. Oh, you gotta be... No, really, you gotta be. But it looks like we're pretty safe here, so we are just going to wait that out. Uh, do I have to cut that out? Well, maybe it wouldn't be such a bad idea. So, see you in a minute. Back again. Well, talking about it, there was a audio diary here, the Saturnine. What? That's pretty interesting. So it looks like in a time of war and a time of crisis, some of the people here have resorted to tribal behavior. That's kind of a scary thought now, isn't it? Yes, indeed it is. But whatever. We are going to the grotto. And there we are going to find... Something or another. No one's a poison. Get away. Get out of my face. No, you stay here. And I'm wasting ammunition all over the place. So maybe we should use some other weapons of some kind at some point. And there is that other guy who I assume to be their security evasion at a physical tonic. Set up security cameras and turrets where you need to go. Assess the term signature of your epidermal layer, confusing cameras and turrets, and delaying their response. That does indeed sound useful. Yes, it does. Well, thing is, we have already been here. So, sadly, that place is not really new to any of us. But still nice to come here. And also, it's safe to come here. Which is even better. A broken vending machine, what a shame. But that leaves us to just kind of blunder it. And we are looking for some sort of rose here, right? Well, that can only be that one. Please? Great. And now we are going to bring it back to Langford. Who is shooting at me? I don't know. But we are just going to hide here until our security turret friends have taken care of it. Oh, there he is. 
stay here where I can shoot you. Gosh dang it. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Yeah, these guys tend to move pretty fast. But not too fast for us. Look. So here we can reach them without them being able to reach us. Well, now they are, but they were not just minutes ago. Oh, die. Yeah, headshot. Go away now. Well, that security drone is going to help us anyway. But we don't want to rely on it too much. There's another guy here, right? Oh, by the way, did I search that one? Nope. Huh. Alrighty, now we are safe. Now we are safe and we can safely return to Miss... I think Langford was her name. Well, it looks like not even she wants to work for Ryan anymore. And I mean, who could blame her? Right now he's basically... destroying his... own... Wait, what is going on there? Well, not much anymore. Just that one single splicer getting shot at. And we should try not to run into any of these missiles. So yeah, right now Ryan is actually destroying his own, like, city. So basically he has gone completely insane now. <laughs> and I mean, it's not the first time that in a civil war... Ah, shit. And then my game crashed. Uh, but it wouldn't be the first time that in a time of civil war a ruler would have basically started to wage war against his own country. And even though Rapture is nothing more than just a small city-state, its isolated nature would make it very hard to defend against such things. I'm not exactly sure where, where I'm going with that, but I'm pretty sure it made sense at least to me. Yes, I did. Sure. Okay, so let, let's do that. Send a rose, you know. Um, always nice to um, to give a, a rose to a lady. I mean, we are gentlemen after all. Something tells me that Miss Langford here is not exactly the most sane person in Rapture either. But whatever. Hey, look at that poster! Arcadia, Rapture's Playground. Pretty. <laughs> and talking about pretty, I like the tree and that little couple down uh, out there. Pretty, uh, pretty fancy. Now what's that, a tonic? Good. Hacking expert. Diffuses alarms and helps avoid overloads. It must have plasma for the hex smart. Uh, no, no, it's not really. I mean, we never had any problems with hacking. It's very easy as it is. So let's store it for now. Cigarettes, not really useful. Something in that desk? No, nothing at all. But there is another audio diary. Indeed. I've got the security system in this joint hacked, so those turrets won't bite. Come on up to my office. Yep, I will. But let's not kid ourselves. I could have hacked them myself. And another diary. Who says you can't teach an old hound new tricks? I don't know. Daddy plant woman spends four years coming up with ways to defoliate trees in the Pacific to scare out the Japs, and now here I am. Down at the bottom of the Atlantic, trying to figure out how to do the same thing in reverse. Adam, Adam, Adam. It's bathtub gene times the atom bomb times Eve with a serpent. Let's go see what it can do. 
Yeah, I'm not sure if we can trust her. Well, whatever, she's the only one we have right now. So what can you say? But yeah, it is pretty weird that these druid people are right now resorting to paganistic-like rituals. You would think that the bottom of the ocean is a pretty bad place to discover your um, your connection with nature. But what can you say? Looks like Ryan took care of her his own way. But she managed to leave us a message. Okay. Yes, yes, he does. So she left us a code of sorts 9457. What's it for? I don't know. Chemical thrower? <laughs> nice! So that's a flamethrower, right? Nice indeed! And liquid nitrogen, huh? So that's basically a freeze ray? I can dig it! And yeah! <laughs> that's a very subtle way to indicate that there is something behind that. I mean really, very subtle! But before we are going to look for whatever is in there, we are going to search the rest of the laboratory. So there's another U invent which... Nah, we don't need. We uh, have plenty of ammunition right now. What's that? A controlling terminal of some sorts. I guess? Maybe? I don't know. File cabinets, which are empty anyway. And okay, that very, very well hidden safe there. Let's see about that. Search. Ah, uh, wait a minute. What? Yeah, I know. What did the code say? Nine four five seven. Alrighty. Well, we can do it faster like that. Nine. Four. Five. And seven. Done. That was hard. Now what's in there? A audio diary, the market key, and twenty-seven dollars. KK. What's the point of being a damn genius if the only ones around to appreciate it are a bunch of spliced up morons? I've cracked a vector, or at least I'm ninety-nine percent certain I have. I just need a bud of Rosa Gallica to confirm my analysis. Distilled water, a bit of chlorophyll, and enzymes extracted from Apis mellifera. That's right, sweetheart. Honeybee spit. Okay. A multi part goal. Um. Alright. But we are going to look for that multi part goal in the next episode. Seeing how. I think this is a pretty good point to stop recording for today. So you know, I'm your German snob, um, this is Let's Play Bioshock, I am in fact going to upload another video today, <laughs> you know, just, just wait for it, and this is Let's Play Bioshock, and I'm going to be seeing you again tomorrow, so you know, goodbye.